Since inflation directly affects the cost of living, for example, food prices, here are the 10 most expensive grocery products right now. Eggs. You'd be hard-pressed to find a person on this planet that doesn't enjoy the occasional hard-shelled, protein-rich superfood. Whether cracking a fresh egg early in the morning for that omelet and coffee double whammy, or paired with crispy bacon, or simply served up over easy with a few slices of toast, eggs are among the most versatile foods you'll find in your local supermarket. Unfortunately, for those who can't get enough of the aforementioned white and yellow wonders, inflation has seen the cost of eggs skyrocket in recent years. Years. To be fair, inflation isn't the only factor directly affecting the rising costs of eggs. The cost of high-quality organic ingredients for the hen's feed also contributes to the rising costs of eggs. Of course, the dreaded pandemic is not only affecting egg costs, but is affecting the food industry as a whole. A solution to the ever-rising egg cost problem has seen many turn to small, independent family farms for their egg needs. These family farms are not only less expensive, but buying directly from these farms will help support the family-owned proprietors, which is always a good thing. Whether you continue to go to your local grocery store or choose to visit a small family farm, the current egg dilemma is enough to scramble your brain. Dairy when it comes to dairy, a simple glance in the refrigerator will reveal that a large majority of the items within are likely dairy-based. That half and half just waiting to be paired with your morning coffee, the delicious marble cheddar sitting quietly on the shelf ready to be sliced and melted in between two slices of bread, and of course, that large jug of milk that completes your morning cereal. Yes, dairy is a staple in most homes across the country and is an ingredient in many of the food items you'll come across in the supermarket. However, dairy products are not immune to the rising costs brought on by crippling economic factors such as the aforementioned inflation. Milk has seen a significant hike in price with a mind-bending 15% increase for the creamy white stuff. For those who love to slather rich creamy butter over a nicely toasted bagel, expect to pay an even steeper 16% more for your beloved spread. Cheese, you know, the savory, tangy block of goodness that can improve almost anything it touches, experienced the lowest increase, with only around an 8% markup, which is high but not as jarring as the other products mentioned. With all dairy products receiving a hefty markup in price in recent years, upon your next visit to the grocery store, it may cause you to perhaps keep walking after reaching the dairy section. Chicken from the crispy, deep-fried drumsticks and breasts of southern fried chicken to the featured ingredient in one of the most beloved soups in North America, chicken is not only comfort food, it is almost a certain go-to while at your grocery store. Alas, chicken is no longer being offered at a reasonable price these days, as the cost of poultry has risen significantly. This particular cost increase is a direct result of the rising cost of chicken feed. The grains used in the feed have seen a significant significant hike in recent years due in part to major drought in various parts of the country, among other factors. Another factor has been outbreaks of avian flu, which can easily halt chicken production all over the country by devastating the population within chicken farms. Of course, the global health crisis can also be directly linked to the rise in chicken prices, affecting everything from distribution to labor issues, which is a problem that may be with us for the foreseeable future. Chicken prices may also experience a further increase with major mergers between the largest chicken producers in the country, as a larger company will have more control of the market and can charge whatever they please. A 15% increase this year alone is causing for any lover of the tasty white meat to think twice before purchasing the product. Beef We've all heard that old line from back in the day, beef, it's what's for dinner. For the most part, the line was pretty accurate. Who among us hasn't had their eye on a mouth-watering steak now and then? On a summer evening, there's nothing better than stepping outside and taking a large breath, only to have the delicious aroma of steak grilling on the barbecue enter your nose. Better still, feasting your eyes on a big, juicy double cheeseburger fresh off the grill, complete with delectable toppings. Whatever the dish happens to be, 
Derby, beef is one of the quintessential meats all over the world. Sadly, shopping for a sick cut of beef these days can be a major blow to your bank account, as beef prices have risen significantly. Beef has seen an increase of more than 7% recently, with factors such as climate, drought, and labor issues as direct causes. Besides the ever-present issues plaguing the food industry as a whole, which continues to be a problem, a shortage of delivery vehicles, along with cattle herd shortages, are becoming an ever-increasing problem. Beef has faced its share of criticism over the years, from the cholesterol scare of the 80s to the cries for beef consumers to fully cook their cuts, but it seems that beef's ultimate enemy is its current price tag. Bacon, pork. How can you describe bacon without using words like delectable, delicious, and mouth-watering? Well, you can't, quite frankly. Bacon has been with us seemingly since the beginning of humanity and has been both a fabulous accompanying side and great on its own in all its smoky, salty glory. Crispy, juicy BLTs and bacon cheeseburgers have the savory pork product to thank for their popularity. But for those who enjoy eating the tasty treat, you may be shocked after laying eyes on the modern price tag of bacon. The pork product has seen an increase in price thanks to a combination of issues, including supply limitations, which can be traced back to the beginning of the pandemic. One of the other problems causing the rise of pork prices in general is swine flu. Yes, much like the avian flu has severely affected poultry production and distribution, swine flu has taken its toll on pork production, ravaging pigs all over the country and coming with the extra grim factor that swine flu can can be sometimes transferred to humans. This concern has drastically reduced bacon production, as infected hogs had to be culled to quell the chance of infection. Well, we may need to find yet another cheaper meat as bacon prices continue to rise. Fish, seafood. We all have a better understanding of health and overall well-being in the information age. Access to the internet has led to a wide variety of knowledge pertaining to nutrition being readily available to just about everyone on the planet. And when it comes to foods, and meats in particular, none are as healthy as fish. Ah, fish, perhaps the most versatile of all the seafood, has long been a surefire hit with both the health conscious and those looking for a tasty alternative to beef, chicken, and pork. Pork. Fish is enjoyed as a crispy fried dish complete with a stack of fries or chips, or mixed with mayo and slathered between bread slices for a tasty tuna sandwich. But one thing that is less than enjoyable when talking about fish is its current price. Fish and other seafood has always carried a larger price tag than that of beef, chicken, or pork. One of the reasons being that, like meat, fish is susceptible to spoilage. However, fish is even harder to keep fresh and will come to bacteria a lot faster than other proteins. With this in mind, combining the already hefty cost of maintaining fish's freshness with the difficulty of catching fish, as well as the devastating effect fishing has on the ecosystem, has seen fish prices rise significantly. Of course, inflation brought on in part by that pandemic are also major factors in the high cost of seafood. These facts may have you floundering out of the seafood aisle during in your next visit to the supermarket. Coffee. One of the best parts of waking up is waking up to the smell of a freshly brewed pot of the hot, steaming, caffeine-filled pick-me-up. Coffee is a morning ritual all over the country and gives its drinkers the extra boost of energy they need to get up and take on the world. Frosty cappuccino, a creamy latte, or just regular java or joe, coffee is a delicious institution enjoyed in the morning or as an evening drink consumed during social gatherings. While coffee may be a pleasurable drink, what's not great is taking a trip down the coffee aisle of a grocery store only to find your favorite brand accompanied by a hefty price hike. So why has coffee's price been on the rise as of late? Much like other food products within the grocery store, coffee has felt the sting of rising labor costs and the ever-growing demand from coffee lovers for, what else, more coffee. However, coffee supplies are down drastically due to, again, 
rising inflation brought on in part by the recent pandemic. Climate change also plays a role in the rising prices of coffee, with the irregular temperatures having a negative effect on coffee farms all over the planet. The enjoyment of coffee continues worldwide. However, each sip of the steaming hot liquid may be just a bit bitter, regardless of how much sugar you may add. Vegetable oil You'd find it rather difficult to cook anything without some kind of cooking oil. Now, oils vary in boiling points and heart health, but regardless of what your preference happens to be, vegetable oil is a staple in the modern home. Olive oil is usually on the top of any list for those who wish to cook while being more health conscious, and canola and olive blends have become popular in recent years. But regardless of the choice, the price of vegetable oil has been on the rise. This particular grocery store item can thank the ongoing conflict abroad for the price increase. The Russian war raging in Ukraine is a major factor on top of the already mentioned global health issues. Combined, those factors, along with the shortage of soy and palm beans, led to a 20% increase. Vegetable oil isn't simply a cooking aid, it also happens to be a key component to many products you'll find in your local supermarket, such as candy, shampoo, prepackaged foods, and other common products. So this increase affects more than just the oil you use to cook with. Upon your next shopping trip, while strolling down the aisle that stocks your favorite cooking oils, just remember that if you're saddened by the price increase, maybe stay away from the other aisle as well. Bread, flour. What smells better than a freshly baked loaf of fluffy, crusty bread? Who among us doesn't love smearing a large dollop of butter on a hot slice of toast? Or popping a crusty, chewy bagel into the toaster and slathering a copious amount of cream cheese all over it? Not many, that's for sure. When it comes to all-around goes-well-with-anything foods, bread is definitely on the top of most people's list. Whether a nice, bouncy loaf of Wonder Bread or a French baguette, bread is enjoyed by countless millions. Unfortunately, the enjoyment of the delicious doughy food is bittersweet as of late, with bread products experiencing the same increase in price as every other food on your grocery store shelves. The reason behind this rise of bread costs does differ from the other food items, however, with the bread market being more localized. Factors such as a lack of durability, the lack of uniformity, among other factors, have been a major cause in the rising price of bread. This, along with the increased costs of wheat, leads to a not-so-happy customer looking to purchase a loaf while in the grocery store. Fruits and Vegetables Fruits and vegetables are among the most important of all the foods we eat. Filled with essential vitamins, nutrients, and all important fiber, fruits and veggies are a key to a well-balanced diet. There's no shortage of options when it comes to our plant-based foods, with plant and soy-based meat products becoming widely available to consumers that wish to steer clear of meat. So it's a sad fact that fruits and vegetables, the key ingredients for a healthy, well-balanced lifestyle, are seeing prices on the rise. Yes, even plant food is not immune to the ravages of inflation brought on by increasing consumer demand and labor issues that continue to plague all the nations of the planet. So now a visit to the grocery store may come with a reaction of shock upon picking up a hand of bananas and glancing at the hefty price tag. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, at these prices, we may have to self-medicate. Stick around, leave us a comment, and check out another great video. Just tap or click. Thanks for watching.